Hello everybody and welcome to GameStream. I'm Vitrix here today bringing you a brand new tutorial on how to connect and use the PS4 controller on a PC. Now as we all know you can only use Xbox 360 controllers natively with Windows so to use a PS3 or a PS4 controller you do need extra software. So today I'm going to run you through how to use a PS4 controller and give you a demo of how it works in a game. Alright, for this, obviously, you're going to need a PS4 controller and the USB connector cable that comes with it. You can do this with Bluetooth, however, it can be unreliable and it's not always supported, so I'm not going to cover that in this tutorial. Right then, so the first thing you're going to need are some drivers from Microsoft, and these are the Xbox 360 controller drivers uh, for Windows. And you always have already have these installed on in your computer, but it's good to just to download the newer versions just in case you're a bit outdated so see choose your language choose your operating system you hit download you run through the installation you don't need to restart your computer for this really handy i've installed a lot of these already so i won't be installing them in the video and all the links for these will be in the description below so once you've installed these drivers what you need to do is navigate to this link here which is on the pcsx2 forums and this is for the actual DualShock 4 software. And so you want to scroll down and find where it says the current version and the update last update date. Lol. And um, where it says download latest installer here, you click that and it brings up this window here, which is actually the software website. And you scroll down, it basically tells you the same stuff as that other web, uh, other website did. And you find where it says download the version. You download it. You run through. You will need to install some things like Microsoft.NET Framework and 360 drivers. If you've already got them, don't worry, you're good. However, if you don't, it will install them for you, which is really handy. For .NET Framework, you it, says, it recommends that you restart your computer. I did just in case. Um, so you do that, you run through it, and then once you've once that's all completed, it will open the DS4 software, and you will be greeted with the installation bit where you can choose where to install the software and obviously I accept these things and the install button. So you go ahead and do that, you choose where you want to install it and yes, I shall rejoin you once you've done that. Okay, so once you've done that, what you want to then do is open the DS4 Windows uh, tool. Most of you, it will be all programs over in the start menu there. We scroll down to find DS4 Windows and it is sitting right there. Next, you want to get your PS4 controller and plug it into your computer. My cable's all tangled. I, I can't find Got cable. There's. You plug it in and it will recognize it's connected and it will say controller one connected. It say device is zero charge, yet mine is actually fully charged, funnily enough. Um, and so yeah, once you got this, you have the assigned profile button, edit profile, new profile, and all this stuff. Um, you don't really need to worry about this stuff unless you've got specific wants slash needs for a controller. Okay, so now it actually recognizes it's a PS4 controller. You want to go ahead, it will say default by default, funnily enough. You want to go ahead and hit new profile, and all these should be the same. If you're someone who uses a PS3 uh, controller for good, like first person shooters, you're probably going to want to switch the triggers and the bumpers around, but if I'm playing Advanced Warfare on the PS4... Hey, come back here. I'm not done with you, mate. They do use the triggers to shoot, and it feels very natural on this controller. So play around with it. Uh, play around with all these settings here to get all the buttons you want where you want. So this here is the configuration tab, and it has things for the trackpad settings. So as you can see now on the PS4 trackpad, you can use it as if it were a trackpad on a laptop. As it's touchscreen, obviously, you can use it to control the cursor. And you can change the cursor speed, scroll speed, tap sensitivity, and the button for right click. So you can have it as a right click, which is pretty neat, as you can see there. And I think you can have it as a standard little tap. Yeah, you can. It's just like a, it's like a laptop. And then you have the light bar setting, so you can actually turn it off, which if I do that now, it's currently on. If I hit save, it will turn it off. Just in case you don't want a light there if it's annoying. Uh, I like having a light there. And what you can do, you have um, different settings for it. So for the charging mode, you have uh, different settings here for when it's charging. You have when it's low on battery, a color for that. When it's full on battery, you have a fully charged mode, which 
you can choose for any of these. So you can have Heartbeat, Pulse, Solid, Flash, Strobe, Wigwag. What the hell is a Wigwag? I want to see this. Ooh. Ooh. It's bright. Um... I, I, like, I kind of like to have it on rainbow because, as you can see, it goes all the different colors that pretty much you can have on the light bar. Uh, you can just have a solid color. So if you want it this red, it'll be red. If you want it the purple, you can have it the purple. It's amazing all the different colors you can actually have. I don't know how restrictive it is on the PS4, but it's pretty cool the amount of colors you can have here. So I'm going to stick that back to the rainbow because that's what I like having. And the discharging mode, which is when I'm assuming that's maybe for if you're using um, Bluetooth, because it's obviously always got battery because it's always connected by the cable. So, but that's not covered in this tutorial. Sorry, doesn't work properly. Um, so yeah, that's that. That's that tab. And you have you have the rumble settings if you want any vibration. I like to have vibration on mine. Adds to the atmosphere. And then you have these things, which are the axis tuning. So the gyrometer, gyrometer, basically where you like tilt it to do stuff. I don't tend to use that. Uh, you have the triggers and the analog sticks, um, stuff like that. You can do the offsets, the dead zones and the sensitivity. Uh, I don't tend to mess with it. Auto launch, I haven't tried it out, but I'm assuming it's... When you plug your controller in, if you use your controller just for one specific game, like I mainly use mine for Advanced Warfare, um, you can add the application and it will launch, which is pretty nice. And macros, which, you know, macros confuse me. Not going to go into that now. <laughs> so, yeah, this is mainly for you to customize to your fine tunings for different controls, for different light bar stuff, and different axis stuff. That's all for you to try and fine tune to your specific needs. So now we're going to head into Advanced Warfare and show you how well it goes. Okay, so I just loaded up a random random bot match on Advanced Warfare just to test out the um, the control. Oh, it's so... Oh, my bloody frame rate. I can't use DX Tori. I have to use Fraps, and it keeps dropping from 60 to 30 with it. So, oh, hello. So yeah, it works really well. As you can see, it does act, if you might have seen in the naked kill cam there, it does act as, no, it's an Xbox, Xbox controller, um, because it said X to respawn, but obviously respawn on a PS4 controller is is square. So yeah, it, overall, you know, it, wor it works really well as a controller for PC. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. If you found this helpful, don't forget to leave a like down below. Uh, subscribe if you're new around to the channel. And leave a comment below if you need any help with anything or you've got any questions. I'll be right here to answer it. Uh, check out the other tutorials we have on our channel uh, in the link down below as well. And we shall see you guys in the next video. Bye!